Guten Morgen, Jahr 10. Unser Titel heute ist Total Vernetzt. To start, I'd like you to copy out the vocab grid and fill in the gaps. The options are on the right hand side of the screen. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers shortly. Ich simse. I text. Ich telefoniere. I call. Ich nutze soziale Netzwerke. I use social networks. Ich surfe im Internet. I surf on the internet. Ich lade Fotos hoch. I upload photos. Ich lade Musik herunter. I download music. Ich unterhalte mich mit Freunden. I chat with friends. Ich schreibe emails. I write emails. Now you may be wondering what our, t our title today means. And total vernetzt means totally networked, totally interconnected. And we're going to be talking about social media and how you're totally connected with people around the world today. So we're going to be discussing how and when you use social media and technology and using when clauses. We're going to begin by looking at key vocabulary for today's lesson. I'd like you to repeat after me. Ich simse. Ich telefoniere. Ich nutze soziale Netzwerke. Ich surfe im Internet. Ich lade Fotos hoch. Ich lade Musik herunter. Ich unterhalte mich mit Freunden. Ich schreibe E-Mails. We're now going to look at our grammar point for today. Wenn. Like weil, wenn, meaning if or when, sends the verb to the end of the clause. So you can think of it as the wenn monster. Ich spiele Tennis, wenn das Wetter gut ist. We see here how wenn has kicked the ist, the verb, to the end of the clause. What would this sentence mean? Correct. I play tennis if or when the weather is good. Now you may want to start with wenn at the beginning of the sentence. And if you do that, the verb goes to the end of the first clause and the second clause begins with the next verb. So, wenn das Wetter gut ist, spiele ich tennis. If or when the weather is good, I play tennis. The German order being, when the weather good is, play I tennis. I'd like you to copy out that grammar point and translate the following six sentences. You need to refer back to the vocab from the starter to help you with this. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Eins. Ich surfe im Internet, wenn das Wetter schlecht ist. 2. Wenn das Wetter schlecht ist, surfe ich im Internet. 3. Ich unterhalte mich mit Freunden, wenn ich Zeit habe. 4. Wenn ich Zeit habe, unterhalte ich mich mit Freunden. 5. Ich lade Musik herunter, wenn ich traurig bin. 6. Wenn ich traurig bin, lade ich Musik herunter. I'd now like you to open your textbooks to page 82, Seite 82. Here we find the text that's called Wie bleibst du mit deinen Freunden in Kontakt? How do you stay in contact with your friends? I'd like you to read back through the texts and write down how do they like to communicate 
So you're matching the seven texts to the pictures A to G. And then I want you to give me a reason why. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Number one. Number one likes to communicate via mobile phone, so that's D, because it's private and he doesn't want his or her siblings to hear everything. Number two likes to uh, write by email because find, uh, they find that they can express themselves better, especially if you can type quickly. Number three likes texting. Texting is cheap and practical and you can send a text when you're late. Number four is talking about her, his or her parents who phone via landline who are scared of modern technology. Number five talks about personal conversations. Eye contact and body language are important and the words for eye contact and body language there are Blickkontakt und Körpersprache. Number six likes to use social networks to talk to friends and finds this great and easy. And number seven likes internet calls and finds them fun as they can see each other on the screen. Okay, in the textbook we find this information sheet uh, where teenagers have been asked what are for them the three most important forms of communication. And I want you to find these percentages, one to eight there. So find the percentage of people that see the following things as one of the three most important forms of com communication. I'd like you to pause the video as I'll be going through the answers shortly. Number one, 66% of teenagers see personal conversations as one of the most important forms of communication. I think that's pretty positive. 70% um, see sending text as one of the most important forms of communication. 36% uh, see telephoning by landline as one of the most important forms. 28% talk about phoning by mobile. 7% talk about typing emails. So obviously emails are not very popular with teenagers in Germany. 3% talk about writing letters. Now I find that a bit sad. I think a good old fashioned letter is always uh, well received. Number seven, 15% talk about calling on the internet and 32% uh, talk about using social networks to be really important. We're now going to do a listening and we're continuing on the theme of speaking about forms of communication. I'd like you to create that table um, and we're going to think about what the main methods and reasons people have for using these methods of communication and then also what communication forms they never use and the reasons why. If you need some time to make that table, I suggest you to, that you pause the video now as I'll be reading the transcript in a moment. Eins. Hallo, ich heiße Tabea. Wenn ich mit Freunden rede, telefoniere ich am liebsten per Handy in meinem Schlafzimmer. So bleibt man privat besonders wenn man neugierige Geschwister hat. Ich telefoniere nie per Festnetz im Wohnzimmer, weil dann jeder das Gespräch hört. 2. Ich bin der Axel. Ich glaube, ich bin ziemlich altmodisch, weil ich echt gern E-Mail schreibe. Ich finde, so können wir uns besser ausdrücken, wenn wir einander regelmäßig mailen. Was ich besonders hasse? Die Endlosung Chatrooms online finde ich doof. Ich chatte nie online, weil mich das nicht interessiert. 3. Mein Name ist Dina. Ich simse sehr oft, weil das praktisch und billig ist. Wenn ich spät von der Schule zurückkomme, sende ich meistens eine SMS. Und das ist das Beste, meiner Meinung nach. Denn meine Mutter mach sich dann keine Sorgen um mich. Auf der anderen Seite ist das Briefschreiben für mich keine gute Kommunikationsform, weil das einfach zu lange dauert. Ich will nicht ein paar Tage warten, wenn ich etwas schnell mit einer SMS ausdrücken kann. 4. Ich heiße Volker. Meine Eltern mögen es nicht, 
wenn ich ständig online in sozialen Netzwerken bin. Aber das muss ich sein. Wenn meine Freunde neue Fotos hochladen und teilen, will ich sofort einen Kommentar schreiben. Durch die sozialen Netzwerke unterhalten wir uns online. Was ich nie mache, telefonieren am Bildschirm, finde ich nicht so lustig. Ich will mit Freunden chatten, aber ich will sie nicht auf dem Bildschirm sehen. You may want to pause the video, rewind and listen to that again, as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. So number one uses the mobile phone as the main method of communication because it's private. And uh, he or she never uses landline because everybody hears you. Number two uses emails because you can express yourself better. And they never use chat rooms because they're not interested and find them stupid. Number three uses texts because it's practical and cheap. And they never write letters because they take too long. Number four uses online social networks. And this person wants to immediately write comments on photos and videos from friends and likes to chat to them online, but doesn't like video calls because they want to chat to their friends, but not see them on the screen. I'm not sure if they have some ugly friends or what's going on there. Okay, in the textbook on page 83, we find these seven questions and I'd like you to copy them out and translate them into English. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Number one. Do you prefer using a tablet or a desktop computer? Two. Do you prefer listening to music via a streaming service or with an MP3 player? Three. Do you prefer watching films and programmes on TV or on the internet? Four. Do you prefer playing online games or games on a games console? Five. Do you prefer taking photos with a phone or with a digital camera? Six, do you prefer shopping online or in a shop? And seven, do you prefer looking for information on the internet or in the library? Gregor has shared some answers to these seven questions. And what I'd like you to do is read the transcript that I'll share on the screen on the second and then write down the correct options one to seven. So here's the transcript. I'd like you to pause the video and read through it carefully and try and answer those questions. Now the questions are in your textbook, which you should have at home on page 83. Um, so you should be able to keep the transcript up whilst you answer them. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Gregor uses a PC for homework. He has an MP3 player and his family have recently bought a smart TV. Gregor often uses three screens at the same time. He prefers the speed of a camera phone and he prefers shopping in a shop rather than online shopping. And Gregor thinks the last question is crazy. He says, du spinst. Okay, you're joking. Your homework today is to translate this text into English. The text is found at the top of page 83 and there are a few helpers uh, surrounding the text. I'd like you to send your text to jwatson at stbeads.cams.sch.uk and as usual the first person to send it in will get three merits and after that I'll give one merit for every subsequent good translation. I hope you're all doing well and wish you all the best for the rest of this week. Auf Wiedersehen!